Dual Shock 4, but no, no, no. This time it was the Colonel. Specifically, Colonel 515 and 516. Dude, wait, which, wait, wait, what gave it away, man? Were you like walking around the house and there were like empty like fried chicken buckets and you're like, shit, it was the Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's because I. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I had to think every time I want to shoot these guys, um, I get a little bit of a brain fart. Anyway, this week, after 13 years, the lead developer for Super Ducks Cart has called it quits, but don't panic just yet. We have towels and superpower battle friends smashes into Linux, courtesy of Vulcan. The Outer Wilds is the latest epic casualty. I mean, if it makes you feel better, we probably weren't getting that Linux port anyways. And NVIDIA releases a new driver, now with improved Nazi smashing. Valve would like to remind you why they take their cut, because people seemingly didn't get the message in GDC. Uh, and DXVK is back on track with 1.2. Some juicy bits in this one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Old Man Ben, joined every week by our team Canadian podcaster, oh, raising the roof and probably not completely block of ice, Canada, and the man across the pond, you know him, you love him, one Pedro Mateas. Hello. With you live joining us, helping us form the most integral bit known as Cocaine Voltron. Before we get started, we do like to see what's going on in each other's life, organs. Gentlemen, have you done anything yes. fun? Anything weird? O outside of being the wall whisperer, Pedro? <laughs> well, I said a were, were, wall whisper. Were you very upset at the end of season seven of Game of Thrones when the wall got broken? <laughs> You're like, no, my my baby. Uh, no, actually, I was very excited because that wall it was just way too unnatural. No, uh, I was about to start screaming at Solus that for the second time they had broken my uh, Dual Shock Four, but no, no, no. This time it was the Colonel, specifically Colonel Five Fifteen. And 516, Dude, wait, which... Wait, wait, wait. What gave it away, man? Were you, like, walking around the house and there were, like, empty, like, fried chicken buckets? And you're like, shit, it was the Colonel. <laughs> uh, no, it's because I uh, actually God filed... Curse you, I filed the bug report on at the least, At least it wasn't Colonel Jack O'Neill. <laughs> <laughs> right. Then you would have fixed it. I filed it. the bug report on the Solus thing, and they were like, uh, this may be a Colonel issue, because people are having this issue on Fedora as well, and there's already a bug... Uh, report on the kernel uh tracker so yeah no uh the it, they introduced a little bluetooth mandatory encryption where the minimum encryption key size is seven for some reason and guess what the encryption size on one of these is purple eight not <laughs> like not so yeah these don't connect anymore oh well thanks what? kernel developers where are you linus we kind of need you now Nope. Linus hates gaming. What's up in Canada? <laughs> Linus, where are you? Can Linus, can you hear me? No, um, yeah, no, no, nothing's really happened this week. I was busy at work. All right. Uh, trying try, try to get shit done. I saw, I saw, I saw the Detective Pokemans. Pokemans. Okay. If, 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 you, if you like the Pokemans, it's, it's a good movie. If fucking you don't like kaleidoscope of nightmares, man. Yeah, Jesus. Just don't, yeah, don't don't fucking watch it if you don't know what a Pokemon is. That, that's, that's my review. I just gotta say, man, just from what I've seen from that is that movie does not look compatible with like hallucinogens probably it not. looks probably. extremely compatible <laughs> okay it depends on what side of this you want to be on. <laughs> fight 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 right. fight 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 <laughs> if we're above the pit yes um so <laughs> i've been okay, playing around man. with uh netjack with our audio we did a like dry run wednesday with um jack one version and what this is, is taking all of our data bits and like routing it over Ethernet and, you know, we're kind of skipping an ADA conversion. So now we're on NetJack 2. We have a dedicated Jackbox set up. And if this holds, this works Wednesday, we're going to get some like budget uh, retired server hardware up in here, man. Some old uh, 10 GE cards. That's going to be fun. Nice. Yeah. Well, 60 bucks, man. If you're looking at... Yeah, this is for two of them. So if you're yeah. looking to go, you know, 10 gig and you're just doing a link, man, skip those $90 Ethernet cards. Yeah, it might be more compatible, but yeah, I don't know. I was going to ask, is your Jackbox named Party Pack? It's called Jackbox. Ah, boo. You well, it was Jackbox. originally called Please Work Fucker, but, you know, it, I didn't. <laughs> the, 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 that didn't fit on the label maker. Nope. 
<laughs> right. All right. I'll tell, I'll tell you what does fit on the label maker, though. It's the horse. It's peeling. It's sticking. It's everywhere. It's the steam. Don't All right. We got a new beta. It's thing. It's all in your face. May 15th. Rolled out. Gang is shit up in this one, son, man. In home right. streaming fixes, steam input, shader pre caking, caching. You know it. Rework <laughs> the cakes, baby. Sh- uh, shader bukaki. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> as a result, uh, wh- this is going to download this business. And uh, I mean, it does it basically every day. I, I'm going to spitball about how what's going on there. But um, supposedly that is going to speed up everything. And it did. For me, at least with uh, Negativo, Ambicrombie, and Turismo, that was running through Proton. I was like, oh, okay, let's see what... And I was like, oh, it runs at 59 now, pretty much, period, which is very impressive because it's an absolute dog shit of a port. And plus, you get the performance penalty of running it through DXVK. But that is a lot better. I've also seen the uh, shaders download for the Tomb Raiders and Sirius Sam's, but pretty happy with that. But there's a gang of other stuff, right, Pedro? Yeah, and uh, one of them is uh, allowing developers uh, to specifically uh, name a version of Proton that their game runs under. And the first thing that popped into my head when I read that is like, oh, that's how you want to get away from the whitelist. Cool. Okay, (laughs) well, you made me go back and reread that because I I saw the shader (laughs) thing and I was like, oh, shit. Because I just saw what you put yeah. in the show notes. It's like, oh, they're going to let them do it? And I was like, that's a horrible idea. <laughs> no, right. no, no. They, they, they can let developers pick which version they want. Of course, you can still override it if you go to your settings. You can just say all titles that are on the whitelist run this. Done. Yeah, you, you, can, uh, and, you, can, you can also set per per, uh, per application Proton versions yeah. through the UI. Anyways, mm-hmm. So. Um, yeah, and they also fixed a couple of issues with libcurl. Uh, specifically, they uh, specify risk of rain. And yes, that is one of the games that uh, before this fix, you had to uh, symlink your uh, installed version of libcurl into the game folder. Otherwise, it would just go, no. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, the the other big development that came um, that came out of this beta release is now they're enabling uh, this game streaming outside of your LAN, so you can connect over the internet. Uh, so that that that's going to be a thing. This is this is Valve's answer to Project Stadia or whatever. You can roll you can roll your own game streaming with blackjack and hookers. Uh, <laughs> rip folks with data caps though. If you have a mobile data cap and you want to play games on the go through this, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're going to be seeing a very very uncomfortable figure. On your monthly cell phone bill, um, and they 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 are taking a crake, uh, crake, taking crakes, a crake, yes, yeah, taking crakes at uh, fixing that Steam game moving bug we talked about uh, last week that has that uh, GitHub project to fix. It. Yeah, yeah, that uh, apparently that got enough traction that Valve was like, okay, fine, <laughs> I guess we'll fix it, and so <laughs> it's a, it it made it into this beta. Does it work without deleting your home directory? Who knows? I haven't tried it yet. I'm not brave enough. Yeah, that's like 100% when you think about it. Also, with like the streaming thing, we saw like Microsoft and Sony's like, shit, we got to do something. Yeah, but when, Wonder Twin yeah. Powers activate. Right. When like <laughs> when Google walks in, they're like, but you know they're going to kill it in like two years, right? And I'm like, yeah, just in case. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, getting the most of our Steam release. That's the thing. So, yeah, uh, we've talked a little bit about how the... Um, new uh, Steam client beta helps players, well, the Valve would like to remind the developers that, yes, those, uh, you know, that cut that they're taking is going for things. It's not just a cut that they're taking. Uh, and they're very keen on developers not taking the Epic bait and not going to the Epic store. So they're going to, well, they put out... Uh, a couple of changes and a couple of documents to enlighten the developers. It's like, yeah, those features you're asking for, a lot of them are already implemented. You just need to know where to look. And here is like the guide on where you need to look to find those things. And if you want like to get into like marketing tools and some other stuff, they included that too. So if you're a game developer, if you have your game on Steam, 
Go have a look. Let us know what that says, because I don't think any of us here actually have access to the Steam uh, uh, yeah, yeah. You need, developer you need to be, forums. Uh, That's an uh, interesting you, way to dance around. It's like, we can't read. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I mean uh, it, it, is, it is all in the Steamworks documentation, and that is all publicly accessible. You just can't oh, see cool. the menus. But mm. yeah, um, but uh, it, it to be fair, like I didn't read through it because it is like a fucking multi-page document. Mm-hmm. That describes all these features in depth for someone who actually is intending to use it as opposed to someone like me who is intending to report on it. Um, but yeah, this, this this article is very much a why, why you should stop worrying and keep giving us 30%. Because, yeah, like Pedro said, all, all, all those missing features that people are complaining about in like the Epic Store on their back end. Yeah, that Steam, Steam is a storefront that has been around for like a decade and a half and has implemented all of these things. And yep. You can you can you can use them. This is true. Um, it the- it, do, it it does require though that people actually like subscribe to the developer pages though, and people I don't think necessarily are keen on doing that. Nah, probably not. Hey, sale. Dun, 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 sale. Dun, dun. We get to do it. We get to talk about it. Get ready for the barrage, a baggage of deals Baragi. next month, man. Uh, <laughs> summer sale, twenty nineteen dates barrage. have slipped, leaked like they always do, like clockwork. June 25th, and stick around for a fortnight. Aha, get it. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> uh, kill me now, please. I don't know. Um, I want to say I was kind of nonplussed by the last couple of sales, man. I mean, mm-hmm. I remember when like Linux first rolled out with Steam. This was my first introduction to fucking Steam, you know? I was like, oh, okay. Oh, a sale, and shit was on sale back in the day. It's like, I've got to buy this and you got to buy that. And that's, you know, there was a short time. I think I owned every Linux title available through Steam. Mm-hmm. But the, you know, we get a lot of free games. Yeah, but there's still games that, you know, we're going to go out and buy. I have not seen anything. And I'm like, you're going to have to do something crazy. Like, give me like Rage 2. I'll burn a heretic purchase if you give me that for like 75 cent uh, percent off. 75 of cents? Out. Yeah, yeah, sure. 75 <laughs> yeah. cents off. <laughs> I'll, I'll go to hell for under a buck. Sure. Bring it. Um, but I, I mean, like, the, that's the thing, though. Uh, I've been saying for years. It's The problem with the Steam sales is one of diminishing returns. We already own most of the stuff that we would want off the Steam sales. And mm-hmm. the influx of new stuff, especially on Linux, the stuff influx of new stuff that people actually, get, you, you know, want is getting is getting smaller and smaller every day without having to burn heretic purchases for a proton. And mm-hmm. if you want to... and. Honestly, if you if you want to play those Windows games and you're following our fuck rules, then you're waiting for Humble Bundles and shit like that to go on sale. Is there any deal.com, man? This is a yeah. brilliant site. Uh, yeah, and it's June 25th. If you have a game that's been burning a hole in your wish list for a while, yeah, wait till then. Buy it then. Hmm. I, got, I, got, I got something else burning a hole in something else, but... And anyways, you, you really uh, listen, man. You need, you, some you need to go to the doctor. I, I mean, just saying, <laughs> yeah. go to, the, go, go to the, uh, <laughs> are you or either one of you the type that like call? I'm never going to say collect games, but like just buy games going, why well, just buy that? I might get around to playing it one day. Uh-huh. I, I, I used to be that person. Now I'm a lot more, now, now that my library is of that sort of critical mass is like, no, no. Huh, yeah, huh. ever since my library got into the four digit area, it's like, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh Well, I, everyone pull out your iPhones. Oh man. All right. <laughs> Fine. This is a broken yeah. one. <laughs> I, yeah. Pull it yeah out. We gotta pour one out for a Mac brother and sister and they got a little celebration going on. <laughs> they do. Uh, yeah, so uh they have finally allowed the Steam Link app to be sold on the Apple store it's not that it's not the uh i guess it is the itunes store yeah um valve had submitted it a year ago it got rejected because oh it's a competing storefront oh we want people to buy games off itunes uh because you can and i don't know why you would but anyways it's it's a competing storefront apple said no a year later they're like eh, it's, it's really just a remote desktop app it's vnc with some nice hardware acceleration so they finally they finally whitelisted it you can now install it on your uh, apple tv or your uh i device and honestly like i i gotta give apple credit because the apple tv is like the perfect form factor for this exact crap um yeah this is true i think one of the initial issues with this bullshit was apple wanted its cut right Apple wanted to double dip, yeah. Yeah. If you, if, 
If, if, if, if you want to play games on Apple, oh, you got to buy them through the App Store. And if you want to play them on anything else, you got to buy them through Steam or whatever. So Pe- I wonder what changed. <laughs> uh, maybe Apple's getting ready to buy Steam. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> See, I would like to see that, but at Let's the same point, I don't want to see yeah. that. Oh no, no! <laughs> a- 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 Apple, Apple's getting to buy Nvidia. They want to consolidate all that Shield tech. I don't know. Maybe they buy Tesla. They buy AMD at this point. And Disney. What do you think? All your <laughs> nightmares come true, man. So, uh, before we get out of here, we're going to talk about an extension. But first, we get a little bit of our not so epic watch that we got to point out because this kind of yeah. hurts us a little bit. It, it does. All right. So uh, I straight up thought this was talking about that new uh, SSI game that's coming out, the Outer Outer Worlds. <laughs> but no, this is the Outer Wilds. Um, so um, they put out an announcement. Oh, my God. It's going to be great. We're going to be distributing our game now through the Epic Store exclusively, um, which would be OK, except the original Fig campaign promised people Steam keys and also a Linux port, quote unquote. So... Um, in, as, as is tradition, because crowdfunding is really nothing more but than an interest-free loan that you can use to fund your game, fund mm-hmm. the initial development of your game so you can shop it around to actual publishers. Um, Mobi- yeah, Mobius Digital basically did that. Um, they, uh, they, they developed their game uh, with the Kickstarter money. They went to the publishers, got a whole lot more money. Now they have an exclusive deal with Epic. And... Let's let's be honest. It's not the first, or it's and it's not going to be the last time this is going to happen. Um, and again, because there's no, there is literally no accountability with crowdfunding games. This exact behavior will continue to happen. But at least now, the the the, the rage coming out of this Reddit thread, at least Windows users can get a little a little bit of a taste of what we can deal with, what we've had to deal with <laughs> oh, in the past. That yeah. that delicious that delicious Schadenfreude, right? Uh, but I mean, some, something tells me that if they were if they were planning on doing this anyway, or if they are were willing to do this anyways, something tells me that we were going to see a blog post in the alternate timeline where this didn't happen in a couple months. That yeah, we're going to stop uh, supporting Linux because we need to focus on the Xbox and PlayStation versions of this. Oh, mm-hmm. no, uh, our favorite thing is oh, well, we, we got to work on the uh, two console things that weren't part of the uh, original crowdfunding thing. Mm-hmm. So we, abs- don't, abs- we don't we don't have the resources to do the Linux port that we initially said we were going to do. And I can't remember. Uh, I, uh, and oh, and like, I, they, they, I, just, I, they they can just go fuck off. They just like mm-hmm. never happened. First stretch goal we ever had. Nope. Mm, la la mm-hmm. la la. Nope. Fuck well, and, and we release a videos about doing penguins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck you, stainless. <laughs> well, the, the 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 other the other thing too with uh, with, with uh, this one is that shit. I lost my train of thought because I was distracted by penguins. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm gonna wah, fucking remember in five minutes, and it's gonna it's gonna. Jordan's piss me a off furry until confirmed. Then. No, uh, no. Epic oh, oh yeah. Wilds. You, 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 you want you want you want you want a yiff with me, Pedro? I'll put you in a latex. <laughs> I'll put you in a latex suit and have a great time with you. I don't know. I mean, I kind of feel like it's a little bit tone deaf. Is like. Are, are they willing to because they got to think with numbers right mm-hmm. Th- i think this is going to be an interesting litmus test you know a smaller developer smaller game rolling out because they're going to take a hit but is that epic check going to be enough to balance out that hit six it's, months from now because you, you gotta look at yeah, it no. look at a game mm-hmm. like um the russian uh pew pew uh metro, metro. that's gonna sell no matter fucking what this is a smaller mm-hmm. title. You know, this is where you're going to be counting individual sales. And oh, yeah. yeah, for uh, someone who went through a crowdfunding campaign and then double dipped on the Epic thing, uh, it makes sense for an indie developer because Epic is not as crowded as Steam, so they get more exposure and, mm-hmm. you know, supposedly more sales. But then again, Epic is limited because it only works on Windows and Mac. Uh but at the same time, you have more exposure and you get gotta, the money directly see, from I Epic. I personally think oh. Epic, you're, you're evil. You have something that runs on a Mac and they don't have any hardware to play it. Yeah. That, that's yeah. dark, man. It's like, well, oh, yeah, let's target I, that platform that can't play games in a significant degree. I was gonna, I was gonna say that um, the people who invested this on for Fig hoping to get a return on this now, yeah, they're not getting that. Yeah, no, oh, no, <laughs> uh, no, you're 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 not. This is not gonna sell enough now on the Epic Store to wait, get to, wait, for wait. you to get your money back. You know, if I'd done that, I'd be like, uh, uh, so uh, we get some of that Epic cash, right? You're like what? 
Yeah, fuck you. Uh, that's all right. Anyway, <laughs> one last thing before we get out of here. Yes. Uh, well, uh, before we get out of just, uh, you know, Steam news proper, uh, this is the Steam DB extension, uh, which, say, if you've ever used, um, like, the Proton uh, DB extension and everything else, this one will actually pull the the uh, Proton ratings as well, and it has a bunch of other enhancements. There you like go, right there. The sole reason to install it. That's all you need. Yeah, skip it the skips the age check. check. It uh, skips uh, a couple of other uh, cookie things, and it uh, gives you a lot more functionality. If you go to a particular game, it gives you a bunch of different stuff. And I keep forgetting I have it installed on Firefox, and so whenever I get there, it's like, oh. That, what's the oh right that I have the extension installed yes and it also shows you hidden achievements that that's a nice one <laughs> mm. I mean yeah I, I'm, yeah. I'm not one for crowding my browser up with extensions but this one has some compelling features for sure well, yeah I think the two things one of the things they were touting was hey man you can hide images and save money on that metered mobile internet that you deal with I never. Do you ever use a Steam app for anything other than shit? Really? Right now? Of course you need two-factor. I use it, yeah, for the two-factor, yeah. Well, you use it for it. You use it when it hits. They they have an algorithm to figure out how far away your mobile is when that damn thing is kick off. If it's a significant enough IP difference, it'll go, I'm going to need you to log in. No, no. (laughs) See, 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 Android has that on-body detection, so it just hooks into that. (laughs) And it, it does a push notification <laughs> to the Steam service. They're like, oh, yeah, no, you, this guy's as far away from his phone as he's ever been. Go get, make him grab right? that shit. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, so the DOS ages, that was the thing way mm-hmm. back when. And sometimes you're like, this uh, hipster pixel retro bullshit's not good. I want to I want to give EGA and CGA goodness in my life. And you can do that. I like Commander Key. You can do that with a Steam update of the... Check out one. <laughs> All my buttons are still in the wrong place from Wednesday. Steam DOS update! Steamy DOS, man. A uh, compatibility tool to run DOS games on Steam through native Linux DOS box version. This is kind of brilliant, man. This thing even works. Now, they're kind of... Do- they're not dodgy about it. They're like, it works with cloud safes. We're not entirely sure how or why, but it does. So, <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> Wick, wicked easy to get up and running with Fedora, Debian, that's the uh, Kumbuntu's or the Arches. So, uh, pretty cool? Question mark. Let's see if we get MIDI yeah. support. I mean, beep, boops, bloops. I, I, I mean, yeah, MIDI, if- I'm guessing that's for the ad lib compatibility. And I wholeheartedly approve of further community developed compatibility layers. Uh, if for nothing else than just to get Strider to actually focus on Lutris for the stuff that is not on Steam, you know, because so, there's so, a lot so, of that. Okay, out there. Pedro, what so, we really need is one additional layer that will combine. <laughs> what were you saying, Jordan? Oh, I, I was, I was just gonna say, um, it'll, it'll be interesting if like we get some community del- developed ones for like open source engines. So if you want to play it with like Ars Libre or um, mm-hmm. like OpenMW, that would that would be pretty neat. If, like, oh yeah. Just uh, I mean, Steam will automatically it can do it. be done. Ex- yeah. Exactly. So, like the the possibilities are endless now. Yeah. Rip Lutris. <laughs> I'm kind of down with having. I mean, with DOS box, you effectively have a Swiss Army Steam. It's kind of brilliant. Yep. Exactly. Big fan. All right. Uh, what else? Fusion. Yes. Fusion. Yeah. Uh, they they got a uh, they got their yearly update now. It's four three three nine hundred. For Serious Sam Fusion, you know, that game that reimpl- that it's not it's not really a game. It's basically here's the engine. We've moved all our game assets to it. Go nuts. Have fun. Um, but uh, at, last year, uh, they cut it. They cut off uh, Serious Sam the four engine from the Fusion engine. So that's being developed in isolation. So now um, they have after ha- letting that soak for a while, they have a bunch of stability updates. Um where they uh, they fix like VR FPS count, uh, counters. If you decide you want to play a game using an Nvidia Quadro because you decided to burn fifteen thousand dollars on a video card, they they got you back now. Quadros um, are very affordable now. The old ones, but well, yes, yeah, old, the Kepler ones. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, for for uh, level makers, you may need to rebake your maps. Um, yes, that that's that's really the only big significant change. The rest of it should just be stability stuff. And of course, they're always soliciting feedback because 
Pro Team gives a shit about their engine. They want it to be good. They want it to be performant yep. and cross-platform. Yep. And, and they have a new game coming out, so there's yeah. that. <laughs> Planet, Planet, Planet Badass. They want to they show that up. I'm I'm still excited for Planet Badass. I can't wait for yeah. that. Well, I mean, they're being very smart with Fusion because this is what Sirius Sam 4 is going to be running on. It's the same engine. They've updated yep. the image, and that's what they're building that game on. So this is a good way to get a lot of the kinks worked out before they roll it out. Mm-hmm. Ex- exactly. They let people have that. Um, this is definitely yeah. why they're some of our favorite Croatian psychopaths. Oh yeah, Th- this like Crow team were the first ones that actually got a proper implementation of Vulcan going in a mainstream title. I don't want to call it AAA because it isn't, but it's like yeah, a serious Sam and uh, the Talos Principle. The Talos Principle was the first one. Vulcan, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before that. This is that they were like, hey man, let, let's see if we can make it work with uh VD VDABU. Like, yeah, how does that go to work? Like, we don't know. <laughs> and I, I was apparently the one person who tried it. I was like, there's an error. It's like, wait, you tried it? I was like, yeah, I saw the, their yeah. tweet response. It's like, wait, you actually tried that? <laughs> ah, all right. Uh two new games, then we can get out of here. Indeed. Yeah. And the first one is Light Fairy Tale episode one. Dark yes, Fairy they are Tale releasing episode this. nine unavailable for comment. The, fa- yeah, the, the Phantom Menace. They are releasing this in uh, episodes. I don't know why, but they decided oh, to do that. that. Maybe they just don't. Ha- Please don't Maybe they're ears. working on a like a shoestring budget, and they decided if we put this out and it's good and people buy it, we can actually make more. And you know, these people. This is not the first game that they put out on uh, on Steam. They put out that uh, bike outrun racing game. What was it called? It's Dirt down bike. here somewhere. B- bike uh, Super Night Riders. Super okay. Night Riders. Yeah, it's that same developer. And this one, it's, well, it's a JRPG inspired by the classics, as they describe it. And, and it's available lightsaber. now, 25% off, yes. And there is the one male protagonist surrounded by a bunch of girls. So uh. it's your fantasy harem anime thing so, going so, so, on so it's it's a it's your box standard jrpg plot got it yes. i mean i gotta i got i gotta give them credit because that animation actually looks pretty decent yeah i mean like, like yeah for as, yeah for and like it's a, built a, in a unity uh so it beats the uh you know rpg maker graphics <laughs> The, yeah no and i i, I definitely i definitely appreciate them going for like uh, final fantasy four warriors of light uh, Final Fantasy IX type of vibe. I, I, that, that that was sort of an aesthetic that kind of got thrown by the way, like, but I I can I can definitely appreciate them trying to like build the JRPG around that. Of course, it's full of weeb shit. So if yeah. you have a very low, if you have a low tolerance for that, then it may not be for you. Well done, weeb shit. It, though. It, I mean, yeah, no it, 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 right? it, it looks it looks like it's very well done weeb shit. Mm. 100%. Yeah. If you like your the reviews, seem well to done. Prove that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So smash. Super Power ah! Battle Friends, XP Uh Yeah, Smash Brothers, apparently. I've never played Smash Brothers, but this is a 2D indie platform fighter. And Jordan, would you agree that it is... Oh, it's on Unreal Engine, too. Wow. Yes. <laughs> this has got a couple of things that we like. One, multiplayer. Two, senseless violence, even though it's pixel. But it, it's, it's accelerated pixels, I hear. Yeah, well, that that was I, I was I was reading through this. It's in it's in early access, so they're still developing it. Uh, but yeah, if you scroll down to the system requirements, they're like what Vulcan Vulcan or OpenGL compatible video card, uh, mm-hmm. and then you scroll up, and they're like, oh yeah, no, if you're on Linux, you get to choose between OpenGL and Vulcan. And I'm like, it's a fucking two D game, but you know, I, I appreciate the choice. Thanks. <laughs> at least at least at least you're doing it. And I mean, this this entire thing is nice. Like having a like a hipster pixel Smash Brothers is good because the other hipster pixel Smash Brothers, uh, Rivals of the Ether, didn't get a Linux port. So this is yeah. what we get. Hmm. That uh, brawl hella did. Uh, did it? Yes, I yeah, think it I did. Don't, I, I don't <laughs> know, Pedro. You're sending me mixed messages there. <laughs> Hold on, let me go and see. But yeah, no, da, da, it's da, 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 a um, $109 <laughs> to DLC. What the fuck? <laughs> yes, uh, because How it's a free to play game. And no, it didn't come out on Linux. It's only uh, Windows and Mac. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, wait, wait, uh, Super wait, wait, Power wait Battle Friends. Up. Yeah, a Super Power Battle Friends is actually, um, it looks all right. And, you know, it, we need more fighting games on Linux. And we need more Vulcan games on Linux. So this is a win-win. Could be good. Yes. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm definitely calling it a win. Uh, seems like one to me. 
but I, I might just pick this up too. I know it's an early access, but one thing developers need feedback working with Unreal Engine 4 because you are brave, yes. brave soldiers. Um, oh, ab 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 absolutely. Unreal Engine 4 and Vulkan under Linux? Under Linux, Jeez, man. Yeah. All yeah, right. good, good, good luck, guys. Power You're gonna team. need it. All right, Mister Alert. The answer to that is Unreal Engine Four. That's why coming it needs two coming up next. It's a very, it's a very, 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 very tiny, very, 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 very it's tiny new segment. Minuscule. And and then we talk about squares. So tiny. So tiny. American. American new segment. So huge. Have you ever been kicked in the kidneys? Twice. That hurts. <laughs> all three of them show, show us that, pedro show us now show us where the that kidney hurts. kicks you. it hurts a significant amount and uh okay but hang hey. on hang on real, real talk i mean uh how many kidneys do you have two yes weirdo okay what were we saying <laughs> i didn't get one stolen why, why, at one point why, it's like why you want to buy one <laughs> i don't know man you're an asymmetrical motherfucker i had to ask <laughs> The, the the most asymmetrical Pedro. All right, and, and, uh, enough enough. The shilling time is now. Head on over to LinuxGameCast.com, where you can help me pay for a new kidney because God damn it, I need it. We got uh, we got all sorts of links for you to follow to give us money, and we got we got wish lists. We got personalized wish lists. If you want to buy me something, you want to buy Pedro something, you you can now. You have the option to do so. Get back to and him. Be like, hey. I, here's what it's really for. You can creep on these motherfuckers. That's why I finally got around to put it in there and be like, what, what do they secretly want? And Pedro was like, uh, I wouldn't, he, I, I wouldn't creeped on him. I was like, well, let's see what we have to pictures. Like a yeah, microphone camera. So like Jordan's like, uh, I, I want to make everything weed butter, uh, <laughs> D D books. Why not? Right? Like, I don't, I don't expect anyone to buy me this shit. All, it's all I'm saying for entertainment value, your, your wish zone is better than Pedro's. Uh, I know yeah, mine is stuff that I will use in some way for the show. So, <laughs> and there's one for the studio. I don't have one. I'm too much work. Uh, just, okay. Just be, just be glad I didn't include the underwear that was originally on there. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> But oh yes. Keeping us loud, we, we, live, independent, commercial free is the 122 the, beautiful party patreons. Oh, we're not we're not we're not, not gonna tell people about the stuff that they can buy from us and not Amazon. They could they could figure that out. <laughs> All right, sure. Yeah, uh they, but you know, you can be a cool person, head on over to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast, give us money week in, week out, get access to some cool stuff like our Discord channel or show notes, or an extra hour of Linux gaming goodness with the pre pre super shows and or maybe you can even get on some game streams when Ven or I, but not Pedro, go live and play some multiplayer games with folks. Um, that's always an option uh, mm -hmm. there. Uh, we got we got we got uh, Vertnog to thank. Vertnog is a brand new old Pedro. He was supporting us before. We've, yes. we've 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 had we've had him in. We've mentioned him in this segment before, but I think this time he's he's a true blue Patreon. Good good on you. Give us money. Oh, thank man. you very much, Vertnog. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, like one of those. Uh... Like, not turquoise Patreons, but a true blue. I don't even know how that works. Hey, seriously, <laughs> thanks, everybody. An aquamarine Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> we got merch, all that fun stuff. Everyone's been wicked awesome. Uh, keeping us going for five plus years, man. We actually have a little bit of a budget. There's crazier things with... That's interesting. A little bit terrifying. Also interesting. Ah, drivers. Hey, it's been a while. Yeah. It's yeah. In, while. In, in, NVIDIA in has a driver. Tradition. tradition. <laughs> Well, I mean, no, there. I mean, there was that Vulcan driver they released a couple of weeks ago. But uh, if yeah. you don't want to do ray tracing on your 10 series card at like 10 frames a second, you can download this. It's 43014. Brand new came out. I think what 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 was the 14th? It came out on Tuesday. Has uh, some improved performance for uh, Dirt 4 and Wolfenstein, the new Colossus, because they added um, uh, presentation from Q families, uh, which support uh, VKQ compute bit. Uh, they added some stuff for uh, NVIDIA VDPAU for people who give a shit about that. Updated the NVIDIA installer to avoid people like Pedro who insist on having non-English locales on their computers in England. And uh, they added support for GLNV VDP v VDPAU <laughs> interop. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a long one. Rolls it's off the tongue. Indeed. You can install it um, if, if you report some better performance in uh, Dirt 4 or Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, let us know. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you want to uh, levy some complaints at NVIDIA through us. They do sometimes listen to us. Sometimes. 
Yeah, we were talking before on the pre pre super shows, and go back and check that out. There's even a video version of that now. It was like two years we've been doing that. Rent caught up to me. I was like, wow, it's an extra hour every week. <laughs> um, it's our production meeting. It's kind of fun. Uh, dirt, that enhancement. Now, we've definitely seen um, improvements, like, because I know it cut us off guard for like wine games. Mm -hmm. Like, what? This, I, we, I, did we breach consensus? Have they, is this the first time they've done like a particular fix for a native game? I think so. I, I know that so they this, stopped doing uh, specific like open jail improvements uh, when they introduced a vendor neutral dispatch stuff to the driver, but I don't actually remember any native games. Mm. Well, so like some improved ML, performance. Pedro. But then again, yeah. this is Vulcan, so it's like the wild, wild west out there, and they can do whatever they want. Uh, the I don't know. I, I downloaded them um, on Fedora thirty. And I, I was kind of forced into it because Negativo Kudo repos, when the latest driver rolled out, it flipped its shit and got angry with itself. So <laughs> I, I could have Kudo that would work with Indian code, or I could have Kudo that would work with DaVinci Resolve, depending on which package I install. And I said, you know what? Scorched earth policy on this. Let's just run level three. Da, boom, done. So yeah, no, work. I'm sticking to the uh, the Vulcan beta drivers, the old 418, these, 5206. Uh, they, everything is in these by now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. You're just using old uh, drivers because you're a hipster at this point. Uh, no, no, I'm just using I'm, I'm, old I'm, drivers because I don't trust Solus with drivers. And I'm using old drivers because I'm lazy. <laughs> 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 All fair and valid points. Uh, DXVK, a little bit of an update. Yes, version 1.2. Yeah, uh, hopefully this one won't get rolled back like 1.1 originally was because Give it, it, a has, it, it has a lot of really nice things. Uh, they have the command buffer submissions, which is, as they describe it, a separate thread now used for command buffer submission, which may incre increase performance in CPU bound scenarios. I can think of a few games that actually do that. The first Dark Souls, the non-enhanced version, it pegs a single thread and a hundred percent, and doesn't use any of the others. It's really, yeah. really bad. Well, they they, spe they specifically call out Quick Champions too. Uh, for yes, the, for this particular <laughs> fix. But yeah, no, it's 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 good because now, um, because now because now uh, you can take advantage of um, it. Well, it increases the amount of GPU utilization, which is good because you want Vulcan to do its stuff on the GPU as opposed to being stuck on CPU stuff yeah. uh, CPU as well. Uh, they also have uh, they also have some uh, fixes that they've uh, introduced so that they can uh, better support that AGS branch that does crossfire and makes all the games run at 11 billion in one <laughs> frames a second <laughs> and will will revolutionize Linux gaming and everything will just run perfectly well uh, and your SLI will just magically work because it'll detect as crossfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh -huh. that, that, that's, that's mm -hmm. making it into the 1.2 release. Not those enhancements specifically, but the groundwork that is required to implement implement yeah features. which also happens to enable a bunch of non-official direct 3d 11 uh extensions let's call them that that uh some developers have found a way to hack into their games and with the xvk 1.2 those are actually enabled so hopefully we'll get even more games working with the xvk I still have to sit back sometimes because we genuinely went in less than the span of a year from, oh, it's a wine game. Oh, is it Direct 3D 11? Fuck. Oh, it doesn't have a <laughs> DX9 render, possibly, cross fingers. Oh, it does? Yeah, I can play it. To, man, I hope this is DX11 so I can use DXVK with it and run it at a very performant rate. Valve yes. money. <laughs> Get shit done, son. Oh, Indeed. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, you got to blast Amazing Grace over our go-kart engine. My departure from Supertox Kart. After 13 years of working on Supertox Kart, I've decided to step away from the project and make space for new team leaders. This is his last post. And he just kind of, you know, goes back of this thing started 13 years ago and just the progression it has made. And man, it has come a long way in that time. 
you got to know what Super Tux card is. It's a kart racer. It used to look like poo. Now it looks pretty good. We kind of like it. It even has multiplayer. And online multiplayer. Online yeah. multiplayer is even <laughs> better than regular non-online multiplayer. 100%. Uh, so he's like, ah, how do I want to put this? It came across really good. Really good. Um, and I could... Uh, you did, you've done a fantastic job. The best I could take, I, I want to see what you guys think, is it's like the new the new kids, the new people. I'm, not gonna, I'm just saying kids as a word. They have more of the move fast, break things mentality as opposed to his everything needs code review, everything needs documentation, and... I think that's always been evident with Super Tux Skirt. I'd say over the last 13 years because, I mean, it's always work. But in all fairness, it has moved at a glacial pace. Yeah, I mean, that, that that's a little bit of a high hopes thing. They, they, the new people might hopefully iterate a little faster and give us some more features. Or at least, like, give make uh, make available, like, beta branches that implement, like, new funky features that people can try out. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, but, and it makes year. sense because when he started working on it, uh, the game was not working. The original soup, yeah. uh, the original Tux cart, it was just not working. <laughs> Indeed. Um, yeah, but like thirteen years though, that's a long ass time. Yeah. That's long. That's longer than I've worked at fucking anything. Um, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I yeah. So I I I, I think after after that amount of time, Homeboy deserves a bit of a break. Mm -hmm. Maybe go do and, some other stuff. You know, Going out on a high note with the 1.0 that has online multiplayer and it looks pretty good, and it got three chairs on the uh, chair mm -hmm. QA session a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it's a pretty good. fun little <laughs> card. And uh, I, I've been following through a couple of Reddit threads, uh, just with people discussing this. And like one thing that was a very common theme were like, "Hey, man, I've from people who were excited about is not excited that he is leaving." but excited that it's going to be under new management and hopefully that like, iterations will go a little faster. Uh, the common theme I saw was a, unless, you know, even if you had an idea and you submitted and like a pull request, like, Hey, I've implemented this. It had to be pretty much lockstep with their vision for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it couldn't really change anything or they're just like, Oh, F off. Even if you've done the work. <laughs> And a lot, you know, of course, like, well, why don't you just fork it? And they're like, well, we don't want a million forks of super tux card, you know? Eh. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the, the other thing with this blog post, too, is that two other senior team members are leaving as well. To time with the hiker leaving as well. So those slots have been opened up and replit and filled with new blood. It's it's a changing of the guard. It's it's mon it's monumental. It's significant. Super tux card has been a mainstay in Linux gaming for 13 fucking years. And it's good to see that. Yep. Um, there, there's a solid feature ahead of it. Mm -hmm. Indeed. That's not the only, uh, racing cause we have this week. No, no, it's not. And I, as a fan of racing games, I do like whenever a new one comes out, even if it's like a small project that you can download for free on itch.io, which is the case with mayhem cars. And this one, yeah, the name is very appropriate, mostly because, while there are some racing games that you feel like cars weigh nothing, in this one, it feels like every single car weighs about, I don't know, six tons. They're all basically tanks. And if you touch a wall, you stop. If you touch another car, you stop. If you so much as climb a little bit of the uh, the side bumpers, it but stops. But Pedro, the other car poops glitter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's wait, a wait, lot wait. of uh... your, your, your car doesn't poop glitter. No, I, 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 I was pills. led to believe some falsehoods about turbo jet. <laughs> Dude, it, it, it was a cream I had to put on, it, man. It, uh, we don't like to talk about it. Yeah, personal. basically, mayhem is adequate because you cannot drive uh, to any significant degree in this game. I don't know why, and there's a lot of why would you want effects? to drive in a racing game? I mean, <laughs> so, what's wrong uh, with you? <laughs> I, I have a question. What the hell do they mean by quote unquote interesting AI? Can you comment on that, Pedro? They're dumb. They're <laughs> dumb. Oh, they will, so they will they're, be they're going they're in special. a straight line and just straight up turning into a wall. It's like, okay, all right, why'd you do that? <laughs> that sounds that sounds very interesting, Pedro. I'm enthralled. I am. So you tried it enchanted. out. I mean, how does it work with the um, PS4 controller? 
Uh, it doesn't. I just want to talk shit. <laughs> well, it you? does. Okay. If I plug it in. All right. If if I use this particular <laughs> USB cable right here, I can't get it right now. But yeah, this was great in the pre pre super shows, and Pedro went on his monologue. It was like three and a half minutes long about the Bluetooth, and Jordan just was like click. All right. <laughs> yeah, no, I like that Jordan tried to hit the button and saw the light go <laughs> blink and off. It's like what the. Mm. <laughs> so it yeah, is racing. Then- <laughs> it's priced to sell. Would you recommend giving it a try, Pedro? Yeah, no, it's like a 70 megabyte download. Go ahead and give it a shot. You probably won't enjoy it. <laughs> it looks like a Unity joint, question mark? Possibly. I didn't bother checking, but the file, it, there was a data folder, so probably, yeah. yeah. It, 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 comes in a, it comes in a zip folder, so mm, probably. No, no, you, you have to totally CH, CH mod. mod. That, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's all right. Living the CH so, mod life. That's my that's yeah. best life. The, the, this next game, though, you're not going to have to CHMod plus X. Uh, you may need to clean out your home directory afterwards <laughs> if you're a stickler about that. We're taking a look at Felseal, Arbiter's Mark. Next. Oh, I got my buttons. Welcome back to the Chairquisition, where the accused must survive trial by Fedora, Solus, and also Fedora. Then, and only then, can we ask the question. Was it fun? This week, we're taking a look at Felseal, Arbiter's Mark. It's by 6 i Studio. It's done on Unity. You can pick it up for about 30 bucks if you live in America. A lot more if you live in Canada. What is it? Felsiel Arbiter's Mark is a turn-based tactical RPG with focus on storytelling and strategic battles. Unfold a mature story. It's not that mature. As you progress through handcrafted scenarios controlling your own group of Arbiters with each cus- character customizable from a wide selection of classes and abilities. Dev sent us two keys. I actually bought my copy because I wanted to play it. Um... But that doesn't stop us from getting into the chair QA session. Uh, then, how did how, how it work on uh, not, not Ubuntu? <laughs> how did it work on not Ubuntu? Over here on not Ubuntu, uh, a.k.a. Fedora 30. With the business, everything worked out of the box. Go to new lot. Um, it's always nice when everything does that. Unlike Pedro, I uh, he, he's going to go his folder schizo thing. Which I don't agree with. I mean, if it does drop a... Uh, just a f- save folder in your home directory. I was like, if you're going to put it somewhere outside of the Steam directory, fair place to put it. However, I'm leaving it there after I uninstall it. Nah, I'm not cool with that. You're going to get ding. Performance, uh, look at it, man. It should run and it does a solid 60 at UHD 30, 40 by 21, 60. Uh, graphic, mm, I'm going to say it's an attempt at SNES Pixel Art on a budget. Controls, X clone worked out of the box. Keyboard worked out of the box, but I got some words to say about that in the fun section. However, I'll give it a solid three. Good performer. Yeah, I, I, I am. I too am not perturbed by folders randomly appearing in my home directory. Um, although I think it's reasonable to not remove the game save when you uninstall the game because that's the default behavior for most other games. But oh, whatever. On Fedora 30, 64 bit with the i7 6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti. I also tested it on the laptop running. The Ryzen 7 2700U with the Vega 11 or Vega 10 built in. Um, yeah, everything worked fine out of the box. Um, holds a solid 60 frames a second on both systems. Graphics. It looks like Final Fantasy Tactics. The character arts looks a little Baldur's Gatey, but, you know, whatever. They they had an art budget or something resembling that. This, mm-hmm. And honestly, this is, this is what I want this game to look like, so I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, control-wise, DualShock 4 worked out of the box. And yeah, the keyboard layout by default is a little insane, but you can rebind everything, so that's not a big deal. I'll give it four chairs. Yeah, it does launch and work reliably. But yeah, like Ven already mentioned, and Jordan uh, agreed, it does that stupid thing of dropping a folder just casually on your home partition root that's the kind of shit that doesn't fly with me i like to keep my home folder clean and whenever something new shows up there it immediately pops out so yeah it's definitely getting dinged uh the performance yeah it's not exactly demanding uh the graphics well i guess the price uh if you're going to try and justify that price is because they have many many maps uh, and they really didn't, you know, spend all that much in graphical equity. So, uh, the, um, yeah, no, the graphics all work as expected. Clearly the shadows that some trees in some scenarios cast on the characters are most certainly not ray traced. And the controls, the issue I had with my controller is because uh, the kernel itself 
broke uh, Bluetooth support for uh, controllers and other devices that don't support any encryption over uh, Bluetooth. So no fault of the game. And after I plugged it in, the DualShock 4 worked. So it's fine. Mouse and keyboard also work and you can rebind everything. So as far as I'm concerned, it gets three chairs. All right. So it works perfectly fine if you don't have an irrational fear of random directories in your home directory. Spooky folders. It's so scary. Oh, my God. Ben, do you have fun? Oh, my. stupid folders. Gentlemen, I had a mothering blast with this game in uh-huh. a parallel fucking universe where I'm not. Because I don't like turn-based and I absolutely loathe RNG. However, I am here, ladies and gentlemen, as your proxy to see if LCL does something different. And surprisingly, it does. It's genuinely the first game I've ever played where the developers saw fit to use a Ouija board to lay out the controls. Y'all motherfuckers used a Ouija board to lay out the controls. Didn't you? Yeah, you did. To its credit, the game lets you know it's a spreadsheet simulator, like out of the bat. First 10 minutes, you're like, oh, okay, this is what I'm into. It's not like some of the games are really like 30 minutes in. Then it's like, holy fuck, I'm not into this. Turn-based, you take turns, you boop each other, you adjust numbers because real-time both angers and confuses you and you like that for some weird reason. Sometimes you pause and wonder why the hell um, half of the portrait art was painted by a rabid demo on a meth binge. At least that's what I assume since that shit doesn't match half the time. Anyway, if you don't dig this, uh, if you don't dig the turn-based strategy, this isn't going to change your mind uh, and that's really all the weight my words should carry, as again, I'm just here as your proxy for other people who don't like turn-based strategy. Uh, however, crack open an ear for Jordan and Pedro, because they enjoy this bizarre moon bullshit game style. One chair. It's better than driving around on a fake track when you have, like, real cars. I don't know. Anyways, it's very clear that uh, these guys realized that Squeenix had no interest in ever making a new Final Fantasy Tactics game and decided, fuck it, we're going to make our own. And they followed that formula to a T. I personally have dumped many, 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 many hours into the Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS Final Fantasy Tactics, and it's remarkable how it all comes back to you. Um, it's like, oh, going going through this game, you can see it on the first stream I did, where I was like, oh, this is exactly like Final Fantasy Tactics. Oh, this is like this other game I played. So... If you are a fan of this style of game, this is nothing new. It's all very, very familiar. Um, and yeah, story. Well, let's just say don't 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 play for the plot. The the plot is rock stupid. And when you had like um like honest, honestly, the first Final Fantasy Tactics Advance for the GBA had a brilliant twist uh with its story where it's like, oh, you where you you about near near the end, you're like, oh, wait, are we the baddies? Oh, I guess we're the baddies. Um and but the yeah the central conceit is pretty fucking dumb so far uh based on what i've played um but give me them squares and i'm gonna be happy trying to unlock all the various classes to make my multi-class hybrids to, and min max all my stats so that my dudes are like super powerful and effective that that's just my jam i, lo- I love the style of gameplay it speaks to me in a way that few other styles of game do uh i don't know i i just really enjoyed it. I, I actually am probably gonna keep playing it um the only the only problem is I don't have this on like a switch or something, so I can play it on the toilet because that's 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 where I would go to like lose the feeling in my legs after playing a game for three hours. Um, yeah, I I I, re- I really enjoy this game um, for the gameplay and only the gameplay. Uh, if you are looking for that quote unquote mature storyline, maybe look elsewhere. This is not the most intense narrative, but it does good squares on squares, and that's what I'm looking for. Three chairs. Yeah, this is the kind of tactical RPG, as they call it, that I like. It's this guy on a budget. It's uh, Final Fantasy Tactics on a budget. Uh, There's a little too much talking about people I don't really care about, and there's a lot of text on screen at any one time. I've said this before, I'm more of a uh, show-don't- I'm more of a fan of the uh, show-don't-tell approach, and these people do a lot of telling. They don't shut up. There's also very little in the way of exploration and little point in going back to areas unless you really want that extra bit of dialogue. But the thing that kills it for me, it's that stupid folder. Stop 
fucking doing that? There's a dot config and a dot local share to store local configs or local files like saves. You don't need to just drop it in the root of your home folder. I would even excuse it if it tried to use the documents folder, you know, actually try to use the folder that I've set for documents in XDG, not unlike last week's game. But this is the kind of low effort crap that I expect to see in like sub $10 games, not $30 ones. So it would get three chairs if it weren't for that stupid folder. So it gets two. Pedro has some very bizarre criteria for scoring games. Dude, on the uh, okay, uh, out of like the legitimate reasons and complaints that people could have against like Snap, Pedro, the entire crux of his arguments, like I don't like the how they name a folder. Yeah, I, it's I a know. stupid it's, lowercase it, folder that they just drop in the it. root He's of like, your yeah, home. I, yeah, yeah. It's just, so, so yes. the moral of the story here is: don't listen to Pedro. He has an irrational fear of directories and his tilde. Folder. I like to keep my home folder clean. <laughs> and anyways, coming up next, we got, we got, we got, we got some hate mail, and I, I got to remind counter argument. That's that's because it's not worth formulating a counter. There is a <laughs> counter argument. You're like, oh, oh, okay, oh, oh, no. Oh. Yeah, the, 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 <laughs> yeah, the counter argument. Say it. I'm retarded. <laughs> the counter argument is sticking a pacifier in your mouth and letting you suck on that for a little bit. <laughs> coming up, yeah, like I was saying, coming up next, I gotta remind uh, Ven to connect the jack, and then we're gonna do some hate mail. Best jack. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's the end. Yeah, I think we've done goofed enough for one evening. So uh, if you'd like to let us know exactly where we done goofed the most. You can do so by going to linuxgamecast.com. You hit the contact button. Make sure you uh, fill out the form with your details. We don't ask for a lot. Just your name, your email, a subject, and a message. You don't even have to prove that you're smarter than Ven's Whoa, bot. whoa, whoa. That's a lot of personal information. Is this uh, compliant with whatever bullshit it's supposed to be compliant with? Because I'll tell you it's not. GDPR. That and one. you're the ones providing us with your email. So, nope, yes. Nope. You're, you're forcing me, Pedro. I'm using internet logic. I can't help myself. <laughs> I, thought gonna say, Pedro, I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say, I'm no. using Internet Explorer. Uh, and I, was just gonna I am not here. responsible enough not to fill it up because this show lives and dies with your feedback and your comments because we want to know what's going on if you got some questions and all that fun stuff that Pedro brought up. Or if you just want to like be honest and be like, hey, man. Fuck you guys. We'd love to read it. It'll be brilliant. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, first, first, first one. Uh, we, we talked about a little bit of a Metroid Prime uh, engine re-implementation uh, called Urde. Urde. And, uh, we, Urde. <laughs> and we, got, we, got, we got some feedback from uh, Philip from Urde. And he says, I noticed you guys did a brief segment on Urde. No official pronunciation. Just say the letters. No, it's Urde. Um, Urde. I just, Urde. <laughs> Look at me. I just, I, it's Urde now. I, 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 am, I am the Urde now. It is now spelled um, with the letter seven. <laughs> and, 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 and pi. Yeah. Um, I spell I, it with I, the purple. I want to point out a couple things. One, we will never sell Urde, and we will never <laughs> ship Urde with Metroid Prime assets. It will be source binary only. Yeah. So, no, listen, buddy, Phil. No, no, no one's saying that. No, no one at all is saying that. We're we're just, we're just we're just looking out for you, man. Because Nintendo's just a, just a little little, little bit liti- litigious little is bit, all, and yeah. like yeah, and 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 historically they've waited until projects are close to being finished or released before releasing the hounds or lawyers or whatever the the hounds cease with lawyers in their mouths. You'll get a yeah. cease and desist. That's what happens. <laughs> yeah. So just 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 but be listen, aware man, of it. Uh, you know, we, we're taking a look at the video right now. It's just a test play from 2018, and you know, it's a prime engine reimplementation we thought it looked neat uh gave nothing but love to it but yeah we, we definitely you know we, we didn't I, I don't think we said that oh they're going to it's like don't ever do this though yeah you yeah. know we we weren't throwing out pro tips we're just like by the way uh do, or, yeah re- remember that other metroid fan ASMR project that too? just got fucking uh, curb uh-huh. stomped or the yeah. guy who made uh mario 64 and unity as a test and like squish mm-hmm. let's do that yeah. uh they, they 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 get their jollies off doing that, man. Nintendo is stuck in you know taking half of your YouTube revenue if you dare play one of their fuck. I don't know if they still do that. They did that no, they they stopped doing that a couple of months ago. But Progress. yeah, no, Uncle Nintendo has lawyers, and they get a little bit itchy whenever they even so much as sniff 
some of their uh, intellectual property being used in a way that they're not too keen on mm. for whatever reason. And and the, the, the sad thing is, it doesn't matter if you're covered under fair use or not, they will put you in legal hell until you... Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They, 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 they have more, have more than, money than you. Yeah, n- they Nintendo will win has that more money than you. Yeah. battle. Yeah. <laughs> but we definitely wanted to give this a shout out because um, you heard the trifecta, my friend. Uh, we, we got a YouTube comment. We got a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> and I ate mail, just in case. I, I went outside, checked for carrier pigeon, didn't show up. I don't know what might have happened to it, but I'm sure you said one of them. Someone ate it for dinner. Oh, man. <laughs> well, 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 there, there's a nice word for eating pigeon, isn't it? It's, like, <laughs> it's called being fucking poor. Um, <laughs> seems legit. Because, ladies and gentlemen, on <laughs> that motherfucking bottom shell. Let's cue the music. You can always find our nonsense, our shenanigans, our nightmare train pulling off the tracks at 830 uh, in the pre-pre super shows. And we do that live. Come check it out. It's on our discord for all the beautiful people supporting our nonsense. Uh, then we go live for the masses at 930. We're on the Twitch. We're on the YouTubes. And of course, we have a live audio stream as well. Come check that nonsense out. You want to get a hold of me? I'm at Vin, I think, on mass.linuxgamecast.com. Or I hang out with the Twitter thing stuff since they killed G+, like motherfuckers, like Google. Uh, just at Vin Stone. That's also like our show account thing because I genuinely expected like six people to ever fucking watch this. <laughs> I'm Jordan Swung. You can send your cease and desist to at the Burning Fool on Twitter <laughs> or at Frojo or Mastodon at Mastodon.com because I'm constantly rubbing my junk on Nintendo intellectual property. Hot. Canadian junk. <laughs> that's what he, that's what Jordan does with his switch. <laughs> hey. And I am Pedro Mateus. You can find me rubbing my junk all over whatever shows up in my way. Nori's not a big fan of that. Uh, you can find me at unaccounted for on Twitter. That's F O U R because someone took the number four dicks and they don't even use Twitter. So yeah, find me there. That's where I am. So outside of depleted uranium banjos and uh, sporks, what did we learn this evening, lads? Nothing. Yes. The, yes. The, 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 yeah, the, 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 this episode was a bit of a wash in terms of educational content. <laughs> my, my, I think my memory is a little fuzzy because of all the depleted uranium gymnastics, but... I think after six and a half years of uh, this... You don't, uh, you don't come here expecting to learn things. You come here expecting to. Oh, hey man. it's Saturday night. I'm Sometimes home. we like I'm to drop a little bit of surprise knowledge. You catch people off guard. Hello, patrons. Thank you. I want to thank our executive producers. I always will try to read them out. Earthier and Foxy, Empty, Atomic, Mike, Cheap, Bob, Ram, Trevor, Seven, Aldius, Hoplo, Mackie. You want to take a stab at this? Go for it. Sure, Jupiter Broadcast, <laughs> Commander Mike, Renee, Renown, Lectris, Renee, Stephen, Norlorn, or Mang, Amazing. I've lost track of that. I can't see that line anymore. Ah, Mir, Matt, Ertain, wow. Linux, Noob, Crazy the other George Shay, Mark, David, the, 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 the real Pedro, Mateus, Massivoli, <laughs> and Vertnog. The latest and the coolest of them. And there oh, are Frank's yes. fuckos. <laughs> yeah. People who gave us hardware ended up on the fuck wall. Super we didn't sweet. talk about that in the shill section, the but. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah. Frank's missing. Yeah. Mike G is still winning. <laughs> it's fine. Mike G is still winning. I, I, again, I'm still I'm still waiting for that deed to get mailed to us. From it's Mike not G. about points. It's all about love. <laughs> love points. And yeah, Mike G has all the love points. It, 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 it's like how in the U.S. money is free speech. Money is also love, according to Linux Gamecast. <laughs> money <laughs> is love. <laughs> that, that, that's our nice little t-shirt. Dead. Money is love. Web is love. Money is love. Five dudes.